MEL or minimum equipment list. Have you struggled with this one? Don't feel bad. Everybody has trouble with equipment list, minimum equipment list, master minimum equipment list. The thing to remember is if you're flying a smaller aircraft like an R22 or an Enstrom or a Schweitzer, you do not have a minimum equipment list. You have an equipment list, which in the POH of every single aircraft, there is an equipment list. That equipment list comes from the factory when the aircraft is made and everything on that aircraft is in the equipment list in the POH. If the owner or operator changes anything on the aircraft, they have to update the equipment list. So that being said, you all have an equipment list for every single aircraft in your POH. Not to be confused with the minimum equipment list and master minimum equipment list. FAR references, FAR 91.213, Inoperable Instruments and Equipment, FAR 91.405, Maintenance Required, Advisory Circular AC 9167, Minimum Equipment for General Aviation Operations under Part 91. Okay, so first let's go through what a Master Minimum Equipment List is. A MMEL, or Master Minimum Equipment List, contains a list of equipment and instruments that may be inoperative on a specific type of aircraft Example, Beechcraft Model 200. The master minimum equipment list is requested from the local flight standard district office, the FISDO, by the operator of an aircraft. This is a list of minimum equipment that has been determined can be inoperable on the type of aircraft and is still capable of safe flight. Once the operator obtains the MMEL from the local FISDO, the MMEL is now the basis for the development of an individual operator's MEL. So for an example of an MEL, the best I can tell you is first-hand experience. As I start as a pilot, I'm flying the small aircraft, Robinsons, Enstrom, Schweitzers. When I later move to EMS, start flying a larger, more complicated aircraft. I flew the BK-117 and the EC-135. Those are more complicated aircraft. They have two engines, two electrical systems, two hydraulic systems, multiple radios, along with a lot of other equipment. So the company I worked for, Omni Flight Helicopters at the time, they developed their MEL for the BK-117 and also for the EC-135 from the master minimum equipment list. 